Hey guys, my name is Hector and welcome back to Hector's Dirty Roots. For today's video, we're going to go through my plant card. I'm going to show you all the stuff that I use for my plants. Uh, I'm going to link everything that I can find or that I, if I bought it off Amazon down below in the description box. So if you, do want, if you do want to get it, uh, you can go ahead and copy it for yourself. But without further ado, let's hop right into this video. Okay, so the first thing we should start with is this actual plant cart. So I found this in the trash. Uh, on trash day and I thought it was really cute and I was like you know what I'm gonna take this I mean it's a free cart and it gives me all the storage I need to put the stuff inside of it's I think it's super cute so we're gonna start with the inner compartment so this is the inner compartment I just have a couple of the bigger things that I would need kind of on the regular to kind of water my plants, fertilize my plants, and that all sorts of those kind of things. Um, as well as some aquarium stuff because I do have an aquarium right here. So we have some tongues. I like to use these tongues when I am putting in some seeds or if I have to put some food or stuff inside of there. Uh, this is for the tank. So this is to kind of level the soil, which as you can see, I need to do. Uh, so it was definitely not leveled <laughs> and then I like to use this when I am adding fertilizer um, this helps kind of get me the right amount of fertilizer if I need to put some water inside of the plants I will use this as well pop some water inside okay so the same thing we have two of those I have some stickies, so I like to keep these around just in case if I feel like there are some extra like fungus gnats and stuff. I like to make sure I have these on hand so I can just stick them up. These are a little different than the ones I usually get. Uh, I ended up getting this pack because it was a little bit cheaper, but I do not recommend this one because it doesn't have the hard bottom to ha kind of put inside the soil. Uh, this is all flimsy and it's all a sticky. So you don't have that flimsy bottom to stick inside the soil. You actually have to hang these, which I don't think is a benefit to it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting these. I'll link a good one in the description box for you to cop. This is the clean. I've actually never used this thing. <laughs> um, my tank doesn't get dirty. Well, that dirty. Uh, I have some clips, so I like to keep bobby clips on hand because I use this to pin the plant if it is getting leggy. I like to pin it into the soil from the node so I can get another little growth spot going. So I like to keep this on hand. This is really good for like the string of hearts, string of pearls, uh, kind of the string up stuff because you can just pop it inside and have it root up. So this is good to keep on hand. Then the last stuff I have over here, I have a little uh, kind of thing to put stuff so it can stand up. A nice little stand up thing and then these two like straws came with the aquarium set I'm not too exactly sure what this is used for but it came with the aquarium set so I still have it and then I just have a little net uh, for fish okay and then we're gonna get into this cart this like cube here so I have a lot of wire in hand because I like to use these for different things, so if I want to tie a plant to a rod, or if I want to tie something, if I want to hang up these stupid stickies that I have that are pointless to me, uh, I have this on hand. Okay, I have scissors. Uh, these were fabric scissors from when I thought I was going to be a designer, and that didn't turn out good, so <laughs> I now use them to propagate plants. I have these cute scissors that I was using to propagate plants. I have these as well. Uh, none of them are really that sharp anymore. I don't know. I guess because I'm cutting wet plants um, or the sap gets on it, I don't clean it in time. Uh, I do rub them down with alcohol, but they're not as sharp as I would like them to be. So I don't know. Also, I cut the wire with it. That's another reason why it's probably not as sharp. Okay. This is what I use to fertilize my fish tank. Um, I'll get to the actual fertilizer I use for my fish tank, but I like to use a little pipette to fertilize. Uh, more things to hang things. Uh, this is the bamboo straw, I believe. Yeah, this is the bamboo straw. I bought this to use it, but I ended up 
the you can taste the wood when you drink from it so I end up not using it so I use it for my plants now I use it as like a little stand for my plants um, I thought I was gonna like them but being able to taste wood while drinking a beverage isn't something that I wanted so I ended up not using it and just bring it into my plant world uh, this is concrete coral concrete I use this to modify the fish tank uh, I'll show you guys if you guys want to see kind of what my fish tank how it was modified and all of that stuff I can show you but I got this to modify my fish tank uh, these are hooks that I use to hang plants on the window so I got this as a like a pack of a ton of them um, from Amazon and you just like hook it and hang your plants I mean that basic the uh, more wire I have a paintbrush because I like to use this to like dust off the plants if I feel like the plant is getting a lot of like dirt on it I'll take this to it it's really good for the Carnosa compactor because you know this thing gets so much dust and stuff stuck in these like little crevices I like to use a little paintbrush uh, I have a fork in here because I was using this to like aerate the soil <laughs> don't ask <laughs> I have a measuring thing because I wanted to measure how big the plants were uh, when I was selling them. Chopstick, again, to aerate the soil. I like to poke things. I have a pH paper. I've never used this, but I have like a pH kit that I've also never used. <laughs> but I have it. Okay. I have more of these clippies. More clippies. I have crazy glue. Uh, the gel version because the gel version is actually safe for aquariums and I want to I did some aquarium stuff again if you guys want to see what I did to my aquarium uh, definitely let me know and I will do a video on it but this is aquarium safe glue so I like I have that uh, I have this shovel I don't know where I got it from but uh, I use this I don't know why I use this I never use this actually I'm lying I've never used this I just have a shovel uh, again, another one of the brushes I like to use this to kind of brush the plants. I have airline tubing. Uh, I did did some stuff to my aquarium, which again, if you want to know, let me know. A magnifying glass. This came with my butterfly net thing, so I have it here. Uh, this is my pH thing. So when I was doing hydro hydroponics, uh, this was what I was using to kind of measure the pH on it. Uh, I didn't end up using these. I never understood how to use these so I ended up using the actual pH liquid. Uh, we'll get to that. It's going to be lower in the cart but I was using that's what this is for. And then I just have some cartridges of filter floss. Uh, this is for my humidifier. This is where you want to put this is where you put the essential oil and then put in the humidifier. I just keep them in here because I'm never going to use that. I don't see a reason of having um, Kind of essential oils in a humidifier that's for my plants doesn't make sense to me so i'm just gonna put everything back inside okay. and then over from that i have some cotton swabs i keep this in here because i like to use this if i do see some kind of pest pop some alcohol on this and rub down the thing i have some gloves which i never end up using uh, because i always end up using my hands rather than the gloves the gloves aren't waterproof, which is why I don't use them because if I do end up doing something where it ends up getting wet, it seeps too, so it doesn't make any sense to use the gloves. And then I just have some of these uh, mesh bags with zippers. I like to use this for my uh, mosquito bits. I put the mosquito bits in here and then I pop it inside the water. That way I don't have a mess inside the water. So kind of like this. So I have some ones that I'm reusing so they're drying out. I like to use these about two times. So the first time it's going to give you the most of the kind of mosquito properties. Uh, the second time it's not going to be as efficient. But I just like to use it more than one time just to get my money out of it. Okay, now that, okay, now that we're done with the first section, let's head down. This is kind of my art and craft section. So I have some stuff that I kind of made and I'm in the process of making or I want to make some stuff. So I was making kind of my own versions of totem poles. This one's kind of made out of, I don't know if you can be able to see it well. It's kind of, it's 
made out of lace. I have some other ones in here. This one's made out of twine. Again, this one is made out of lace. And then this one's made out of just a fabric, uh, plastic fabric. So this is how it looks. But I have a lot of that on this section. I was trying to be artsy. So I bought a lot of that, you guys want to see. So I have a green version. It's kind of just a mesh with wires at the end. I got these at the Dollar Tree. So again, mesh, I like different ones. This one's like a diff, this one has more of like a organic feel to it. Uh, again, with the organicness. This one I thought was super cute to do what I did with this one. So it's that same material and then it's just braided up the back. Thought it was super cute. I have a pink version. I bought a pearl one because I thought this would be really cute to put like on a terracotta pot. And just have designed this be on it. Uh, I have some of the, what do you call these? Macrame hangers. I have one and then I have another one. Uh, and then I have this kind of pearls and then I got these little baggies because I wanted to use them for like propagating stuff so if you can see here I have the arrow roots inside of the bag uh, so I'm hoping that the arrow roots will grow I have some twine I have a lot of twine um, that's something that I use quite often and then I just have some sticks okay I'm gonna put everything back oh But yeah, this is kind of my DIY section. Uh, I wish I had a lot more stuff, but this is what I have. So if you guys want to see kind of more DIY stuff that I've been working on, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I love doing DIY stuff, but sometimes I don't love doing it because sometimes it takes a lot of work to do DIY stuff to come up with the ideas and stuff because you don't want to steal other people's ideas so you have to kind of make your own like I didn't see anybody doing something like this which is why I wanted to do it um, if you guys like them let me know you know um, but the only thing is since I got these stuff at the Dollar Tree I'm not you know Dollar Tree stuff goes really fast so I don't know if I'll be able to find more of this material. I have to check Amazon. Uh, if I do find more of this material on Amazon, I'll definitely link it in the description down below. But that's the only thing I'm worried about if I make some stuff like this. And you guys want to make it and we don't actually, you can't actually find the material because it's from the dollar store. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. But definitely let me know if you want to see more of these like totem poles that I get creative with uh, down in the uh, comment section down below so that way I know I can make them but now we are in the last section so in here I have just some of the kind of signs I use when I sell stuff or if I want to put a something on a plant a name or something I will put it on this thing uh, I got these on Amazon it was they were not that expensive they were pretty cheap actually I think this is like two packs of it but uh, I have that. I also have some tags that the plants come with. I keep them in here because I don't like to throw out the, the names of the plants. I also don't like to keep it on the plant. So I put them in here and I know, oh my God, RIP this white fusion. I wanted this plant for so long and I finally got it and it literally died on me as white fusions do to people. But yeah, I keep tags, a lot of tags on hand and then the handy, dandy alcohol 70 percent uh i love this this is one of my ingredients for my mixture for when i do pest control and sprays uh this is one of the ingredients the 70 percent alcohol a neem oil this is an essential if you are a plant like collector or if you just have plants uh this is something that will help fight most of the pest insects uh, i love this i keep this on hand so this is also one of the ingredients for my monthly sprays. Uh, I do like a huge monthly spray on my plants just to make sure I'm preventing the pests and not getting any um, outbreaks of stuff. So this is one of the ingredients. Then the next ingredient is going to be hydrogen peroxide. So this is the hydrogen peroxide, the 3% I believe. Uh, let me just verify. This is the, yes, 3%. 
This is the 3% hydrogen peroxide. Love this stuff. This is really good for pest control as well and to kill eggs inside of the soil. So you dilute this and you pour it on the soil uh, after you water the plant and this helps with killing the eggs in the, in the larva stages. So this is really cool. I definitely recommend keeping this on hand as well. Again, this is one of the extra ingredients I add to my monthly sprays. Then the next two things are actually the same thing, just in two different containers. So what this is, is 20-20-20. Uh, this is the fertilizer. I'd like to fertilize my plants with 20-20-20 at least once a month or once every other month, depending on the plant. Uh, this is a really good fertilizer, all over fertilizer, because it's one of the highest uh, fertilizers out there, the 20-20-20. So I definitely recommend if you are doing maybe a once a year, once a season fertilizer, this is a really good one, uh, because I want my plants to grow. I usually do it once a month or once every other month, just because I want to make sure that they are growing for me. Um, uh, this is really strong though, so just make sure you're using it per the box instructions so you don't burn the roots. Then I just have some algae wafers for my bottom feeder uh, fish. Um, they love this stuff. Once I put it inside, they go crazy for it. I feel like they can sense it once it hits the water and they go insane. Love this stuff. Then these two things are going to be what I use to fertilize my fish tank. So the first one is the XL. Um, this promotes carbon inside of the water column uh, to help promote the roof growth. Root, to help promote the root growth. Um, love this stuff. Uh, I put this in it. I want to say I put this like every two weeks. I don't really like to overdose my plant with fertilizer. I do have a lot of plants inside of it, but I don't want to overdose it. You know what I mean? The next one is a flourish. This is something that I feel like is super common in the plant fish plant keeping community. Uh, this promotes just all over plant growth. This has a lot of traces of uh, different kind of elements and nutrients in it uh, to really help plants develop inside of the water because you know water does not have any type of nutrients in it. Um, so this helps with that. And then again, I also dose this when I dose the um, other fertilizer about every two weeks. Then I have some rooting powder. I don't really use this because it I don't understand how to use it. So I've only used it a couple of times, but this is what rooting powder. I don't really know, understand it at all. Uh, to me, it's just a gimmick, but I bought it to try it and I don't think I've ever seen it do anything for me. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you. And then the next couple of things, the next three things have to do with the hydroponics. So this is the pH I was talking about earlier. So this is the liquid you mix inside of that container with some of the water. It tells you the pH and depending on that pH, you mix either pH up or pH down depending on where that liquid sits because you want to get the pH on for the plant between 6.5 and 7 uh, so you want to stay inside the green stages or the light green stages for the plants to really love that acidity so depending on where you are you go up or down uh, it's kind of the color wheel so you, it, you can understand if you are more acidic you want to go for the orange if you are less acidic you want to go for the blue Uh, the next one, stuff have to do with my fish tank. So this is algae fix. So I did get an algae bloom when I first started my tank. Uh, so I bought this and I don't think it did anything. So it's just sitting out here. I used it one time. The next one was algae clear. Um, when I did use the algae fix, it like fogged up my tank. So I bought the algae clear and it cleared my tank. So I'm guessing maybe it did do something, but... I don't know. Also, my camera is going to overheat, so I might have to start this. Okay, the last thing on this shelf is going to be Prime. So this is what you use to condition your water when you put your water, new water in your fish tank. Uh, I love this stuff. Uh, the only thing about it is after you've had it open for like a month, it starts to smell like fish, which is strange. So I thought it was going bad, but apparently that's what happens um, when this hits oxygen. It starts to smell 
Uh, so yeah, that's the only thing you should know about this. It's really good, but the only thing is it's just moth a while. And then the last thing I have, so the last thing I have over at the bottom is just aquarium substrate. So this is sand. I like to keep sand inside of my fish tanks. I just think it looks aesthetically more pleasing than having gravel. But this is what I keep. Okay guys, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. So it was kind of short. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I got inside of my cart. Uh, that is kind of a plant essential for me. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And also, leave me some of your plant essentials down in the comment section down below so I can check them out because it's always good to upgrade your plant essential stuff. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!